there you see our naivete uh, sets us up. So you can see goodness in itself, to some degree, has a certain downside in that if you just become going to denial because of your own good inclinations towards others. So to be spiritual doesn't mean to be stupid. That's all I'm telling you this morning. <laughs> <laughs> to be stupid doesn't mean you got to be dumb. <laughs> stupid doesn't have to, you don't have to be blind. You don't have to be ignorant. You can be very bright and alert. So the more your consciousness evolves, the more you're willing to look at the downside of things and say to yourself, hey, looks to me like a setup. Right? It's because you yourself are integrous and honest that you want to know what the truth is. It's, I don't want to make them wrong at it. On the contrary, I compliment them. It was a beautiful piece of stage, stage work. Beautiful. Beautiful. It also tells you how cunning what you're up against. The impact, how they would respond, the legalities, the countersuit, and what you're seeing was totally calculated in advance. Completely calculated in advance, yeah? So I'm just saying not to be naive just because you're spiritual. Sometimes people are spiritually going to denial and naivete, and they're worried about the, you know, the things that are never going to happen and saving the earth and all those things. So we just wanted to use um, the yardstick of truth and talk about some of the things in today's world because spiritually evolved people and students don't live in a vacuum. We don't all live in an ashram someplace detached from the world. We all are subject every day to this pounding by the media and the politicized media. So we have to, how do you become, how do you stay in a spiritual alignment with truth in a world that um, is not aligned with truth is the problem of modern man. And that's the subject of the book I'm working on and finishing right now. Spiritual reality and modern man. 